Okay, this is another back of my car seat uh, pickup video. I went to the Tuesday Shell Factory flea market today. I forgot to take a picture of the market, but it basically looks the same. Um, a lot of the same vendors, a few different ones, a few different things. Um, that had a few different things there today. Uh, if you like video games, I didn't get any video games today. So, uh, but I did get some interesting stuff. Um, I'll just what I'll probably do is I'll I'll work my way through the. Uh, whatever's in front here and then and then fish it. Anyway, for fifteen dollars I should probably should have bought the guy had a box of like this kind of stuff for twenty bucks and I maybe I should have bought the whole box because he had some other interesting things in there. Um but for some reason I didn't. Um these are butter presses, old wood ones. I got uh for fifteen I got oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna toss them in this bag. Uh, old butter pr presses. I'm not sure what they call the, these designs, but you you just uh, they're called butter stamps. You put take a, a wad of butter, you put it down, and you just stamp it down. You get that. There's the shapes, four different ones um, that I got there, and I think I'm not sure what this is, but this is the most interesting thing. Uh, this could be. This is definitely some kind of press where you get juice out of something. I don't know if it's a. It, I, I'm assuming it's not a berry press because you think it would be stained. Um, so maybe it's some kind of like, uh, I don't know, garlic press or something? Beats me, but this is a press. And whatever you put in there and squeeze, juice comes out. A nice old wood one. Very interesting. So again, I paid 15 for these five pieces. This old basket here, it's a, it's a nice old longer burger basket. Um, hand woven. Something Ohio. Dresden, probably Dresden. This one's signed. You know, it's probably not that. I don't know how old Longer Burger baskets are. And this one has where it's been used, but it's a nice little one, maybe for berry picking or whatever. So, there. So, but I only paid 15 for all those pieces. Now, this is pretty cool. Now, this is, it says copyright ETH. It looks like Isman, I S M A N. And I believe it says 1918. But I don't, that copyright makes it confusing because I don't think copyrights go back that far. I'm not really sure about that. I'll have to, I mean, they may, but it's definitely hand carved and it's kind of interesting. And someone, it's penny art. It's a Abraham Lincoln, you know? And it's definitely made from wood and it's painted gold. So, five bucks. I have. Uh, let me put it in the shade where you can see. I have no clue on this. No clue on the value. It's all glared. Let's see. No clue on the value of this. Uh, but only five bucks. I'll try and figure out if I can... Uh, who the name of that person is. You know. But I mean, this is cool stuff. I can bring this to Columbus. These presses, I don't know. I might just give them to my friend to sell online. At the flea markets, they don't give anything. For the lot, I can probably get at least ten for that longer burger basket, I think. You know, and that would get me most of my money back. Um, and then this other press is so unusual. i got to figure out what this. Okay. Probably the best uh, stuff that we got today are these mangoes. No, I'm just joking. But a guy, I, where we are, mangoes at the supermarket, they're like two, three bucks a piece. These need to ripen. But um, these are farm fresh from the guy's tree mangoes. Um, five bucks. And then we got some honey. Right? And this is a... Uh, Local honey, local grown, 15 bucks for the two. All right, get, uh, that's that stuff. Two for 15. Uh, if the guy says he go, if you like honey and, and mangoes, the guy says he's there every week. He has his own farm. All right, um, one of the vendors there had uh, this jewelry. Now, this jewelry is what we paid most of the money for. I think I spent 120 for everything today, right? And uh, so we got these two turquoise bead necklaces, and they were 20 a piece. You know what? I think they, he gave us a discount of ten bucks. Everything came to seventy, and he gave us a discount um, because these were twenty, twenty, and these were ten a piece. I'll talk about those in a second. And then this was twenty. So with that particular vendor, we spent like ninety bucks. And I, like I said, I think everything comes to a hundred twenty. I'll do the math later. Anyway, um, a nice big chunky turquoise bead necklace. This is sterling. I don't believe it's it's super old or anything. Um, 20 bucks, good deal. Now this one's probably the older one and the more interesting one that people, this is probably like a native design. Let me take it in the sun. The sun may blow these beads out, you know. Uh, 
but there it is nice and bright in the sun i'll put in the shade i don't know how you'll see it different so that was another 20 and then um this person that we buy uh, that we bought this stuff from he actually i'll show you this he actually carves jewelry uh lucite bake light jewelry so here uh i don't know if you can see it let me try to shade uh he there's a fish scene in here he carves that all in and then he signs it g paul it looks like so he made these out of old Bakelite sets. This red one, he had different colors, amber, red, green. We decided to buy one just to see what we can do with it or wear it. We paid 20 for this. Uh, hand carved. He says he sells these online anywhere from 50 to 150. He puts them to auction. And uh, about the flea market, he just flips them for 20 And then he says people put them online for 300 <laughs> which is funny. Um, so anyway... Red Lucite, I don't know if you can see all the fish in there. He must have a way to do it where he can do it quick. Um, there's a jellyfish in there. I really, I hope you can see it. They're really nice. Uh, jellyfish, uh, sea scene, and other sort of fish. 20 bucks for that. And um, these, my wife is hoping to get at least 40 or 50 a piece. This, if she sells it, she'll probably sell it for 30 to 40 or something like that. She won't make one. Uh, these are made from Mahjong sets. He drills the hole. Um, puts them together and then he sells he, he says he sells these online for 50 bucks right at the flea market he only sells them for 10 so we've heard add 10 bucks a piece we are going to do uh we do flea markets so we should get like at least 20 a piece for these um and then we're also going to do the rutherford street fair so that's probably um the nicest stuff that we got today and then i got i no games as i said but i did buy cds now, I paid two prices for CDs and DVDs. The The same guy who said I was selling DVDs, he was selling them for 75 cents, three for $2. Uh, but I already picked everything I want from him, so I have to wait till he gets a fresh batch. Um, so I didn't get anything from him today. So the DVDs I did buy, I paid a dollar for. Uh, these CDs and DVDs I paid a dollar for. Sun Seals, don't know, looks jazzy. Herb Albert, I know who he is. Ozzy Osbourne, can't go wrong. Miles Davis, everybody that knows anything about jazz recognizes that name. He's like one of the gods of jazz. The Kinks, best of the Kinks. And uh, then I bought these two because it was like, uh, wait a minute, why did I buy these? Uh, well, best of Canadian brass. I figured sometimes you can check CDs like that that are worth it on eBay. And for a dollar, worst case scenario, I sell for two bucks. And then I bought an Oregon Canterbury Cathedral with David Flood. And then I saw two movies that I will potentially see. One's The Art, Ice Harvest, good movie, good story. And this other one, The Haunting of Molly Hartley. i never seen it, so whatever, I'll see it. This stack of CDs uh, were only 50, bu 50 cents a piece, so I don't remember what I paid. I think I paid like 12 bucks. Here's what I got. I got a best of, uh, pure reggae, best of Tina Turner, Prodigy. Uh, I think I bought this just to round it up to $12.00. Hip hop back in the day, people have been asking me where where I am, nor as I am, if I had hip hop music. So whatever, I got a best of hip hop. Stevie Ray Vaughan, greatest hits. All the best from the Caribbean. Pretenders, singles. That's the greatest hits. Death Cab for Cutie. That's a new music, so or more contemporary. So we'll see. Here's an uncut funk, a best of. Jimmy Cliff, reggae. I bought a Jay Z. See, you know what? Some of these I wouldn't. I wouldn't have bought at a dollar, but at fifty cents, whatever. Uh, then I got this, Al Green, Teddy Pendergrass, Ice Cube, Greatest Hits, so, you know, Jimi Hendrix, Robert Plant, Now and Zen, The Sugar Cubes, Life's Too Hard, I know who they are, uh, then I got Ziggy Marley, I never heard of, I don't recognize Ready for the World, so I might check that out. Pixies, I'm familiar with them, uh, Best of the Doors, Chicago Hits, Best to Sting. Uh, the, these best ofs and some of the rock ones like the Ozzy Auburns, I'm going to make them five bucks. The rest I'll probably do two dollars for for five. The best of Jerry Rafferty. I don't even know who he is, so I'll check him out. And Peter Tosh, can't, can't go wrong. That's what I got today. Tomorrow I am going to go to um, the Wednesday uh, movie theater market. Uh, the, that's also in Fort Myers. Somebody called, had a name for it, but I can't remember it. Uh, maybe I'll find some more stuff. There will definitely be more vendors at that market than we're here. I think the big day for this, uh, for the um, Shell Factory market might be Saturday. Uh, and or 
it's either Tuesday and Saturday the big days, but they also have it on Thursday. But that's it for today.